Another massive police raid here at the Pacific Mall in Markham. Thousands of items were seized on raids on several stores here. Of course, now this mall was made infamous in a U.S. government report earlier this year, which labeled it as one of the most notorious sources for knockoff goods. Police say, though, Project Knockoff, which was what the project was called today, the investigation, actually started after complaints from people here at the mall. A lot of this project stemmed from calls and complaints and reports from members of our community. So our community became aware of the fact that this was going on. Uh, there was a report that came out uh, earlier on in the year or, or late last year that uh, sort of indicated that this activity was going on. And as a result of that, the community took notice and started to call us and, uh, uh, and encourage us to take some action on that. Now, seven stores were raided this morning, as well as one home. Throughout the day, officers took guard as boxes of items, a mix of clothing, accessories, electronics, all seized as evidence. Now, store owners and the mall actively involved in this months-long project, this investigation. But Lauren Lipkiss, who helps track down counterfeit goods for well-known brands, says more is needed to be done. He says a recent report showed that border guards here made some 60 seizures at ports over the last three years compared to tens of thousands in the U.S. in that same time. He says much of the money ends up in criminal hands even to help support terrorists. In exchange, he says, we get some frighteningly dangerous items. Many of the counterfeits that are sold pose serious health and safety standards. Here in the GTA alone, I've been involved in cases where there's been counterfeit contact lenses. If you put a counterfeit contact lens in your, case, in your eye, in some cases, they have to be surgically removed. I've been involved in cases of hypoallergenic, allegedly hypoallergenic makeup that has been applied and the person's gone into uh, distress because they've not been able to breathe because they've had a, an allergic reaction because it is not hypoallergenic. I've been involved in shampoo cases. In some of the shampoo cases, there was, there was E. coli in the shampoo. I've been involved in counterfeit toothbrush cases where the glue was so substandard that it was allowing the bristles to go down your throat, causing a serious health risk. I've been involved in counterfeit electronics, counterfeit SD cards, counterfeit electrical products, counterfeit toys that have substandard parts and toxic paint. You name it. There's anything and everything is being counterfeited. Now, these investigations by police are time-consuming, lengthy, expensive, and it's not just the police as well. Lipkiss helps get to that point where the police investigation can start. They send cease and desist letters to those involved. He says all the shops that were raided today have been warned repeatedly about stopping selling all those goods, yet they still sell them. So are customers aware of this? Are they ready to stop buying counterfeit goods? If I were to get them, I'd rather just get the real one. What's that, though? So I don't get called out being fake. <laughs> it's all about the look, right? Sure, I guess. I don't like counterfeit stuff. Yeah. I don't really buy counterfeit anything, clothes, especially electronics, you know? So how come? Um, I don't want to get ripped off. Incredibly so far in this investigation with this raid, no charges have been laid yet.